Zongo 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 Yes! It early! Kiss my granny! Yeah, did them say we are left 4 a.m. We're out. We're getting ready. As man is light, we are shoeboard. Yes. Auntie John's son and our niece. Big C. Well, folks, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Prepping to go out. Bringing the essentials, like my essential oils and um, you know, face, facial scrub and things like that. Maybe having a mild panic attack about how much shit we have to bring out on the boat, but I think we're good. We've got all the essentials, like David said. You know, we've got our scooter, we've got, a, we've got some kiting gear because David wants to kite. All right, guys, gear check. Got camera, dive gear, freaking ton of pelican cases, more stuff. Got my lionator pole spears, zookeeper, shit ton of coolers. Yeah, just waiting for Jane and Megs to come back. It'll all work though. It's just five of us on board. <laughs> right, Megs? Don't freak out yet, bro. Pull up. I'm gonna sleep on top of the gas cans. That looks cushy. Rosa fry, Rosa Boom. Uh, Boom. Boom. Uh, Boom. Uh, Yo, because you're on Yadis, we're safe. We we'll keep it safe every time. Yo, watch a man, we just Tetris this blur neat. <laughs> Yo, you young kids don't even know that reference, don't you? It's a, it's a level 10 Tetris. <laughs> we need to get going. Sun coming up and sunfly start liquid. So, Jadon says, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Captain, you good? All right. All aboard. We're excited. We're going to Pedro. So we're going to blow us rock first and then we're going to head straight to the keys so um we anticipate getting there a lot earlier than anticipated we're going to Just so to get your cards up, we left at like 5 a.m. and we've been on, on this, the open sea, like this one. There's like no land around. Jamaica is like somewhere over there. And um, yeah, we've been on the water for four hours and now we're getting close to where we need to be. But yeah, we're almost there, man. I said. 
that shit right. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> clear I kind of want to chuck in but I think I'll wait I'll wait apparently it's very sharky out here it is hot as hell yep we're out in the middle of the sea aka sea miggle look for the money in a little boat and another one over here the way out of sea, Miguel. With a little boat here. Fish on. Hooked up and fighting. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. We're glamping, okay? We have a hand wash station. You know. Hand wash? Yeah, that's glamping. Better talk about hot water and shower and when I'm thinking that. Hot water and shower, we better put out one bucket. It's in the lighthouse. Yeah, man, it's in the lighthouse. That's where you're staying, at the top here. You have the penthouse. Okay. Pedro, we got fish down the way, got a barracuda. It is beautiful out here. The uh, the sun is gonna set right here later. I can't, I can't even like express to you how how happy I am right now. This is adventure time, loving it. David is ready to go. That's actually his sun protection slash. Uh, yeah, this is my sunblock SPF. 50,000. <laughs> I just have to put stuff on my hands, yep. and my neck, and now we're anchoring the boat. So it looks like we're actually gonna try and keep the boat here close to us. We were gonna moor up right over there with the rest of the fishing village, but I think it will be all right if we just kind of anchor it up properly. It would be good. Well, yeah, we got a cell service is working out here. My data is coming through, so you know I just got in touch with our data families. Yeah, data coming. Got in touch with my family. Let them know we're good. We're gonna go and uh, enjoy this water. David's already like way ahead of me. Woohoo! Alright, Ted! Alright, I am 
overheating. My head is on fire. Took my hat off. This is my first dip on the keys. Hedgerow. It is perfect. Going down. Well, apparently we have to drag these, um, they're like almost 100 pounds or something, water bottles, all the way from the boat, wherever the boat is, to way over there. And we have like six of them. And if you don't drag them away, apparently people will just come and steal them, as well as your fuel. Because out here in the wild, wild, wherever the hell we are, water and fuel are like, you know, um, commodity right so it's kind of like um, Waterworld or Mad Max or something but yeah interesting so these are some existing structures out there they're I mean dilapidated and falling down but it is some kind of a shelter so we're gonna go ahead and set up camp in there uh, not camp but cooking kitchen and then we're gonna pitch a tent over here and then one up there on the bluff so should be good make for some good evening photos turtle tracks they're like all over the place there's one there 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 I mean they're everywhere we've seen so these are actual nesting sites and there's turtle eggs under there even up here look at this big dig oh this is a turtle turtle possibly nested there I'm pretty sure there's a nest there's a nest here look at where David is two more nests it's like turtle central Yo, we've commandeered <laughs> this is gonna be our little cook shop Jaden is uh we might need to remove that piece of board because Jaden is Jaden is way too tall for this shit. Oh she your baby. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, here's our little cook shop. We had a little bit of an ant problem, but you know, it's all part of living on an island. We got our stove, Jaden just set up the stove, we got our food, water. We have a lot of water. Alright. Time for food. Blessings to Auntie Jan. She cooked for us. She could she know that by the time Jan, we get big up here. Yourself. Any wish for the mainland. <laughs> big up yourself. Yeah. Even I See, serious. She knew we were gonna be like crazy tired and burnt out, so she cooked for us. Auntie Jan called it. Yeah, she really did though. She cooked everything, so all we have to do is put it in a pot and heat it up. So I am so grateful, Auntie Jan. I love you. I love you like how I love fry planting. See it there? We have one pack of the chicken gone on. When we've done that, we're gonna put on the second bag. And we have some provisions. What do we have going on here? It's a David Asato to borrow. I feel like those really weird YouTubers, like that guy spearfishing Jamaica, <laughs> running around the place camping and shooting fish and stuff. They catch, clean, and cook, man. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, we'll call you out. Where you there, boss? Where you there? Jaden and Megs and Rashid over here fight for the best camping grounds. Welcome to Upper St. Andrew. <laughs> Where you there? Where you are staying? Welcome to Upper St. Andrew. We is are is this Cherry Pedro. Gardens? This is the Pedro, this is the Pedro Gardens, alright? And I'm over here in the Pedro Pines. This is Pedro Pines. <laughs> so, Rashid, where you there? Which part are you there? Pedro, Pedro Pines and Pedro Gardens over there, so. <laughs> Pedro Place, alright, alright. Well, me and David are going to set up in Pedro Heights, you see me? Whoa. Jesus, Whoa. okay, okay. But yeah, first, yeah. we're up on the top, you know, but first we have to clean up some things because we're not trying to. <laughs> Pedro Heights with it. So, yo, you see this right here, guys? Sunset going mad. 
And then sunrise. I got there over there, so right. Look at what we are about to witness. Pumba, listen to me. We might not left you now. Somebody just sent out some water for me because of water that upon the island here, is it? <laughs> anyway, I forgot to look for my Auntie Jan chicken. It's a bubble. Come, guys, I forgot to eat something so we can get with strength. Because I saw rum, it's almost rum 30. Almost. Yeah, down here at the cook shop. Oh my god, that smells so good. And then afterwards. Oh my god, somebody suffer. I'm gonna set up bar over here, so. No bar here. Oh, bumbo. Nope, that is not the bar. Hmm. First meal on Pedro. Some cook up chicken. Some food. And peace up here. Yeah. Those guys are still setting up tent. I keep telling them to come over, but them over there struggle. Uh uh. We're too hungry for this. We just saw turtles. Alright, me and D need to set up our little tent the yard is already sorted out there but i was too hungry so we waited it's all right ours are gonna be easy Tent. This is gonna be our home. We got a sweet view of the sea, and all you're seeing is blackness. Anyway, we're done. We work today, so we're gonna go enjoy the evening, have a little libation, and chill because we got a big day of diving tomorrow. So this is not regular weather for Pedro Keys. This is like really good apparently because it's usually quite windy and a lot more rough. So we really lucked out out here. So this is going to be our true day one. Actually, I guess it's only going to be our, our only full day where we get to go dive. So check that out, man. Well, everybody. Korea run later. I don't know where I'm come from. Well, I heard creepy crawling last night. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys. Are you trying to get into a little food boxes? How old did you eat? We got our little bags. What was so delicious about this? What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, good morning. Yeah. Scurry off. Have a great day, okay? See you again in about two minutes. I remember everything. Like when they, when they talk to him, he's he's calling dates. This is something happened over like a decade ago, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. Alright, proper good morning. Face wash, teeth brush, feeling much better. Watch ya. Crab them bite up, bite up, everything. Anyway, I feel good. Now it's coffee time. Look what the sea just gifted. On. <laughs> this showed up right beside your tent, didn't it? Yep, yep he woke up and it was just sitting outside. Like, wow. It even had some crabs in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the sea provides. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, it unscrews. I mean, even the uh, the funnel looks in perfect condition. Yep. Well, got somebody eating out there now. So the fish are jumping while Lee is cleaning. Breakfast. Tin sachis, crackers, some ketchup. We have some sliced cheese, I go and find that. Good uncle. Over there, primary school, I'm gonna eat. Vienna sausage and crackers and never fancy like them. Watch out, just look a speckle speckle them in it. I seized in that too, seized in. Then get fun. Well, Meg's just briefed us on the diving excursion that we're doing today. Be hitting 
two sites and then doing a little bit of snorkeling here and there so it's really just one full day of diving that we're gonna do because we head back to the mainland tomorrow we have shooks man the farm board would we yeah, Daddy Shugs. Daddy Shugs. I show away the thing. Jay Don is coming diving with us. Hey! You get a burst, my lord. As we're going on our first dive out on the Pedro Banks, we're getting ready, we're gearing up. We're stoked. This one's called Shark Hole. So I think they have turtle in there.
Campfire style, yo. And inside, we have Chef Jaden. Jaden, sorry. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's Today on the menu? Today in Pedro Kitchen, we have fresh lobster caught on the reef. We have jack. We have fresh seasoning. We have the Jamaica Below the Surface special proprietary dry rub going to be in the merch section soon guys and then of course we have barracuda yeah uh fillet fillet fancy bar as barracuda hell. fancy as hell david did this on the beach yesterday this barracuda was caught yesterday all right guys so check back in a little bit going to do some chefings and uh, yeah. That's up here. Damn! Look at something like that. Post. Post breadfruit. Post mostly brown things. We've been on sea all day long. We we'll come in and we did have to go cook. But we we'll matter with that thing. That's Constant companion through this entire journey. About 50 million of them live here. Go on, my friend. Go on, I'll feed you later. Oh, what are we about here? Oh my god, we're planting. Holy we'll for planting. To the jack and the barrow. We have some vegetables. We have some sweet potato. We have some carrot. And lobster. And of course, breadfruit from Norwich, right out of Port Antonio. You see how far them breadfruit you travel? 90 miles them breadfruit you travel, you know? the island we're not ready to go no this has been absolutely amazing humbling experience i've never been around this kind of wildlife and when i say wild it's wild very wild we're gonna go snorkeling we're gonna try to go around the island i don't know if we're gonna make it 
uh, we unpacked everything, or not unpacked, we brought everything down to the beach. So anyways, we're running out of time and we're gonna go touch that right now. That's how we navigate. Yeah, we're definitely going back. Pedro na normal. It's gonna be a banger. Pedro na normal. Oh, we said Jamaica below the surface. That's how what Jamaica below the surface is supposed to look like. This we set in the bar kinda high for Jamaica still. Yep, no like for sure, anyways. For sure. come catch up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the next one guys, I loved it. I have the best crew here, guys. Thank you. Very much. Pedro certified. 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 Pedro cert